everybody's looking forward to my spring training videos. Today we're talking about the American League Central. What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode with my Alex and Vice Pants. <laughs> yep. Um, okay, so the American League Central is, uh, I'm going to start it this way because this is how we did the other one, just to keep it uniform. This is how it finished up last year. All right, pause and read it. Cleveland ran away with the league. Uh, they won 94 and 67. Uh, Detroit, Detroit Tigers, they finished second place, 86 and 75. They were eight games back of the Indians. Kansas City finished uh, 500. They were 81 and 81 in third place, 13 and a half games back. Chicago White Sox, off to a strong start. Seemed like they were taking the game out of nowhere, and then they fell in a hole or something. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what happened. Um, Chris Sale had a tremendous year. It just wasn't enough. He was, what was he, 17 and 10? 17 and 10. Whole bunch of numbers. Just wasn't enough. Uh, what's his name? Who's my boy? Todd Frazier. Todd Frazier hit a ton of home runs. Wasn't enough. Anyway, uh, the Chicago White Sox, they finished 78 and 84, under 500. And they finished 16 and a half games back. And the Minnesota Twins... We're the only team to actually lose 100 games this year. They were 59 and 103, a winning percentage of 364, and they were 35 and a half games back. Man. Uh, okay, so pretty much this league, the American League Central, is going to this division, I should say, because it's the American League East, West, and Central. And it's go up. Oh, Getting more text messages from the brother. Could be. We need to see the official Niantic statement. Even that little part is typed into the... Yeah, need to see an original message. Yep. Indeed. Uh, I, I know these videos are... I'm filming them together, and we're talking about the Pokemon Go release. They're supposedly releasing Generation 2 this weekend. We'll see. 80 new monsters, berries, clothes for your character. We'll see. 80 new monsters. I mean, they have the coding in there. They may as well, but... We figured it's too soon. It's cold in a lot of places still. Anyway, the Cleveland Indians pretty much are going to repeat the Central from last year. I mean, how can you not? You, 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 so, okay, so so you have you have this Andrew guy, Andrew Miller guy in the bullpen. He's not your closer, and you have Andrew Miller. He's the guy that you just like. Oh my God, we're losing. Call Andrew Miller, and he comes in and he wins the game. So they got this Cody Allen kid. He's 32 out of 35 chances last year. He saved that many games. Corey Kluber, Carlos Carrasco, Danny Salazar, Trevor Bauer. I like this Trevor Bauer kid. Josh Tomlin. I like Tomlin too. I saw him in the playoffs and in the World Series. They, you know, they did, they did all right. Uh, so you know, solid pitching staff. They have a solid offense, and they add Edwin Encarnacion. How do you lose with that? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Um, I think it's going to be a, I think there's going to be a talk of how close can Detroit come without actually beating Cleveland. Cause I don't, I don't think Detroit's going to have it. They, they have the same team from last year, Verlander, uh, kind of reinventing himself over every year. It's, he just ceases to amaze me. He's amazing. They got the Fulmer kid that won rookie of the year. Uh, Mike Pelfrey sucks. Sorry. You suck. You're four and 10, man. Annabelle Sanchez, he was 7 and 13. Matt Boyd, he was 6 and 5 and 18 starts. Daniel Norris was 4 and 2 and 13 starts. So that's 11 out of 17 decisions and 6 out of 13 decisions. What happens to those other decisions? You lost those games. That's what happened. Um well, well not necessarily. You could have blown the lead, you could have got the lead back, but those people get the no decision. But I mean that's a lot of decisions to be blown. Francisco Rodriguez, 44 out of 49 saves and save opportunities. It, you know, he's he's no he's not shabby. Offense, you got this Miguel Cabrera kid. He can hit the ball. Ian Kinsler, J.D. Martinez, Justin Upton, Victor Martinez. I got V-Mart and J.D. Mart. They're like Walmart stores, only baseball players. I don't know. And uh, Alex Avila. So, really, it's not an awful team. So, it's just a matter of how well can they perform to catch up to Cleveland because the Cleveland is there they they sound like they had just have it all worked out like everybody's coming back pretty much it's just a matter of just a matter of doing it getting there and winning every game they won 94 games they'll probably win 100 it's going to be the year of 100 wins um the White Sox 
I don't know. They, you know, I mean, I know Chris Sale had the whole thing with the uh, with the uniform, and he cut it up because he didn't feel comfortable in the throwback uniform, pitching in it and all that. And they made a big deal out of it. I think they made a baseball card out of it. I haven't seen the 2017 Topps cards yet, but I think I think they did. And just every they, when they say everybody's on the trade block, it's like, wow. Well, are you trying to win or or what? Because they're still talking about Shwe uh, schlepping uh, Quintana out, uh, Carlos Rodon, um, Jose Abreu, Todd Frazier. Todd Frazier hit 40 home runs last year. I'll take him. And this uh, Yuan Moncada that they got in the in the sale trade, you know, I mean, he only played a couple of games in the majors last year. He's a big prospect. He's not really, he's not really going to come in and win you the win you the series. You know what I mean? Uh, the the only person that they didn't talk about in the offseason was David Robertson. He, uh, he you know he closes. He's their closer. He's he had 37 saves last year out of 44 opportunities. So he had a couple of blown chances there. Um, it, but you know it's like well what are you doing if you have all these guys that are on the trade block? It's like oh, I don't know. Maybe we're just not going to play baseball. Do you go into a rebuilding mode? Because I mean, you know the Yankees can say that they're not rebuilding, but they are. <laughs> you look at them. How many rookies and young young guys under you know under a couple of years do they have? Look at this Gary Sanchez kid, Greg Bird. Now, granted, Greg Bird missed the whole year last year, but he only played half the season the year before. And you know they're all they're all coming alive. Aaron Judge, you watch out. The Yankees are gonna. Oh, look at the sun just build it in here. Who saw that? All right, so uh, Cleveland, Corey Kluber, he was eighteen and nine. Car Carlos Carrasco. Was 11 and 8 last year. Danny Salazar was 11 and 6. Trevor Bauer was 12 and 8. Josh Tomlin 13 and 9. Andrew Miller had three saves out of three opportunities. Cody Allen is the main guy. 32 out of 35 opportunities. They got Nick Goody in one of the trades. He's a Yankee prospect. Uh, he's a pitcher. So he's not bad. They got a whole crap ton of offense, and they add in Edwin and Carnacion. How do you lose? You can't lose. You just you're just gonna win. Uh, Justin Verlander cannot throw enough complete games and no hitters and anything else that he's going to come up with this year. Mike Pelfrey sure ain't doing it. Uh, Mike Fulmer, he was the rookie of the year. He was 11-7, and seven, had a whole bunch of good numbers. He was good on a team. He was like the only consistent piece of the, of the Tigers last year. Um, I watched the uh, coverage on the whole rookie of the year, you know, voting and all that jazz, and I was like, oh, Gary Sanchez is going to run away with it because he, he was the Yankees when... The trade deadline came and went, and they traded um, Beltran away, and they traded uh, Chapman away, and uh, who's the guy that went to the Pirates? Nova, Avon Nova, you know that, uh, and McCann, right? Um, no, no, he, McCann went in the off season, but anyway, Sanchez comes up. Uh, McCann was one of the eighty guys they played at first base. Sanchez comes up, and the Yankees are all of a sudden in the wild card race. So I thought for sure I got to turn this camera before it like, oh, it's worse. Uh, I guess we're just going to manage. So, you know, he uh, he put the Yankees in the wild card race, Gary Sanchez. So to, to, to see that Michael Fulmer beats out Sanchez for Rookie of the Year, I'm like, you got to be freaking kidding me. This kid, this kid better throw like six no-hitters this year. That's all I'm talking about. He better win Cy Young MVP and earn a second Rookie of the Year award because he's just that great. That's how great he better be. Can we fix this light? I'm just, I'm angry about the sun here shining into my video. I don't know. Whatever. Um, so you ask about the Kansas City Royals and the Minnesota Twins. Well, the Minnesota Twins lost 103 games last year. I vote they win, a, they lose another 100. <laughs> that's, that's about all I got to say about the Minnesota Twins. They were 35 and a half games back. They had a 364 winning percentage. They won, they were 59 and 103. Ouch. Ouch. Greg Gagne is rolling over in his Major League Baseball grave. Not to say that he's dead. It's just, you know, he's retired, so his career is over. And Major League Baseball, I don't know. That's, all right, that's a terrible joke. Shouldn't joke about stuff like that. And what about the Royals, right? Royals, eh, not bad, but they got a bunch of players all over the place. It's not even going to matter. They'll probably beat out the White Sox because the White Sox don't look like they have a clue as to what the hell they're doing. Except for getting rid of people. That might be all they have. <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, my picks for the AL Central, um, it's going to be Cleveland running away with it. Detroit's going to finish close second. 
Uh, Kansas City is going to place third, beat out the White Sox. They'll be in fourth. And the Minnesota Twins will be occupying the cellar again and probably for a long time because whatever happened after Kirby Puckett stopped playing, nobody plays for Minnesota anymore. I don't know. Jack Morris is, is hanging his head low. <laughs> and who's the catcher? He, he, he's still there and like you wouldn't even know. I don't know. That's all I got.